and seeing her up there giving God the best praise she could ever give. And so we're going to do that today. And I want you to help me send her home in style. We're going to stand and we're going to sing the song, Heaven's Jubilee. It's, at, it's in your program. Sorry. And I want you to sing. One thing with Nadine, she would dance and sing. She'd say, sis, I can't sing, but I'm going to do my best. So we're going to do our best for her today. Somebody. Jesus in the air, coming after you and me, joy is ours to share, what rejoicing there will be, when the saints shall rise, head and Just ahead in the twinkling of an eye, change with them to be all the living saints to fly to that jubilee. Oh, what singing! to sing, singing in the Holy Ghost, how the hands will ring, millions there will join the song, with them we shall be, praising Christ through ages long, heaven's jubilee, oh what singing, oh what shouting, on that happy morning. praise the Lord let me hear you worship the Lord worship the Lord worship the Lord hallelujah oh what singing oh what shouting on that happy morning when we all shall gladly rise oh what glory hallelujah when we meet our blessed said savior yonder in the skies hallelujah hallelujah we are going to pray i want you all to bow your heads in reverence as we invite god's presence here in this going home ceremony it's not going to be an ordinary ceremony because she was not an ordinary woman let us bow our heads 
Lord God, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you. You are the one we serve. You are the one we adore. We magnify you in this place today. We are so unworthy. But you are awesome and you are wonderful. And we want your presence to be forefront in this house today. God, I pray that this service will go according to your will. We pray, Almighty God, that everyone leaving here will remember that Nadine served a good God, a mighty God, an awesome God who is able to save, deliver, heal. There's nothing you cannot do. And so, Almighty God, we pray you will keep us, walk us through today, comfort our hearts, and help us to worship you in spirit and in truth. These mercies we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and Hallelujah. amen. We're moving quickly. You may be seated. We're now going to have the reading of the lesson by Thalia Reed, niece. Thalia, you can come forth. We have it for you already. I'm going to invite, I'm not seeing Thalio, so I'm going to invite her other niece, Sienna Simpson, to read from 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 13 to 18. I know I asked you to sit, but I'm going to ask you to stand again for the reading of God's holy word. 1 Thessalonians 4, reading from verse 13 to 18. The scripture reading will be taken from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 to 18. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. 18 and ending. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Here in the portion of God's holy word, we honor it by saying, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sienna. You may be seated. I just want to welcome you to the Thanksgiving service of a wonderful woman my best friend Nadine Kelly Reed. She is, as we go through the service, you will hear some of the wonderful things she has done. And we are invite all those who are going to be doing the tributes to come. They're all listed on your program. There is there are a couple additional tributes that will be that are not slated on the program. I will guide you through those. We want you to go and we want you to give it the best you have inside. I know that it's a sad occasion, but we want to make sure that when we leave here, we have worshiped. Praise God. Amen. So I'm going to invite Mr. Roger Stewart. Are you here? Mr. Stewart to please come and to give the first tribute to Nadine Kelly Reed. One, two. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, the ministers of the church, the the clergy, the all of the administration of this church, those of us who are family and friends, we are bereaved. We are. We are troubled. But I want to say to all of us, 
as First Thessalonians just reminded us, that it does not end here. And those of us who know Nadine and Sean know where their heart is. It was only the Tuesday I was sitting in her office because I am one who provides um, the company that, we, um, that I work for supplies services to UL Manufacturing. And we were discussing where we go in the future. And before we parted company, myself, my co-director, Sean and Nadine, we all held hands and we prayed before parting, parting company. Little did we know that that was the last time. But our memory of Nadine goes with I was made an introduction to him, and it has been a lasting business association ever since. And so, on behalf of the GBI Logistics Company family, we just want to express our condolences, not only to the family, but the church family. And so, I've been asked to pay a tribute this morning, and my tribute is in song, the song, In Christ Alone. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace When fears are still, when striving cease My comforter, my all in all Here in the love of Christ we stand in Christ alone who took on flesh fullness of God in helpless babe this gift of love and righteousness Scorned by the ones he came to save Till on the cross as Jesus died The wrath of God was satisfied For every sin on him was laid here in the death of Christ, I live. There in the ground, his body laid, light of the world by darkness slain. Then bursting forth in glorious days, up from the grave he rose again. And as he stands in victory, since cursed and lost its grip on me, 
me, for I am his, and he is mine, bought with the precious blood of Christ. No guilt in life, no fear in death, this is the power of Christ in me. From life's first cry to final breath, Jesus commands my destiny. No power of hell, no scheme of man can ever pluck me from God's hands till he returns and call us home here in the power of Christ we stand Christ, we stand. That was wonderfully done, Mr. Stewart. Thank you so much for blessing our hearts with that lovely song. I would like to invite our Grace Kennedy representative, Mr. Otis Walton, to give his tribute on behalf of his company. Mr. Walton, are you here? We will come back to Mr. Walton. We'll go now to Mr. Dalton Omro, representing the company she managed so well over the last four years, UL Manufacturing. Members of the clergy and the platform party, Distinguished guests, family members, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I know it's very hard at this time to say good morning due to the circumstance, but it is customary that um, in gathering like this, we still say good morning. Now, I have before me a beautiful radiant smile of a young woman that I would have come to me, um, associated with for a number of years. My first encounter with her was way back in 1987. During those years, Mr. Uri Kelly would have um, managed, owned and managed the company to which she would have um, taken over. It is interesting to note that in spite of the number of children that Mr. Kelly had, that he deemed it fit that in his passing, that Nadine would be best suited to take over the legacy of UL Manufacturing Company Limited. And that would be as a result of her close association with him and the dedication, no doubt, that she would have exhibited I remember the days, however, when there was a difficulty because Nadine was not an early riser, like her dad. And so he is one who would rise early in the morning and that by the sun is up, a number of things would in place. Now, Daddy, Nadine is the reverse. She would get up when the sun is hot. And I remember those days, she would have indicated to him, as he would have shared with me, Boy, I can't understand this young lady. Them young people, you know, them not easy at all. Look how long sunrise, and she's still in her bed. And so I remember the last maybe eight years before his passing, there was a transition in Nadine's life in that I started seeing her 
paying a little more attention, more dedicated to the company. And at that time, Mr. Kelly, if you know Mr. Kelly, he's one not going to do something just out of emotions. He's going to do it based on what he sees. And I remember the first major step he made was to add Nadine Kelly to the current account of the company. And that speaks volume because it means that he would have seen something in her that would be able to manage the resources that um, she um, that she would um, be bequeathed to later on. This month is exactly four years since the passing of Mr. Kelly, Uriah. There are two persons who would have first started the company, you for Uriah and L for Lee Vesta. Last year in November, Lee Vesta um, died due to illness. So the two original persons died from illness. I believe when Mr. Kelly would have um, established his will, and most time he and I would have sat down and he had this vision of a company like a soul trader. And if anything should happen to him, the company would also pass. And I said, no, this is a limited company, Sir Kelly. And I always use Jerry and nephew. And I'm not promoting Jerry and nephew, you know. But John Ray and his nephew in the 1800s would have formed that company, and today the company is still um, is living. I believe when he bequeathed the management of UL Manufacturing to Nadine, he was expecting the legacy to continue. He would have expected the life work that he would have put in would have continued. When Mr. Kelly died, the major challenge at the company at the time was um, production, and we had to meet with a number of the persons um, key stakeholders to, to assure them that the company will continue just as we, when Mr. Kelly was around. And so that was done. Nadine took over. There are a few things that Mr. Kelly didn't believe in to which Nadine gave her some advice and I realized it followed. One, insurance. He never believed in insurance. Then he be, be, believed in loans. So he never borrowed. And so during her legacy, during the time that she was there, we were able to establish an insurance, health insurance for the, for the staff, pension insurance, and incidentally, an insurance on herself. We would have also seen that the production of the company would have increased um, under her management. Also, prerequisite in terms of um, the company being registered not just in Jamaica, but um, overseas, SQF platform was in place. We also see where we had um, uh, HR management. So the company, in terms of its internal aspect of administration, was on the path. The next focus that we were looking at now is the expansion of the company in terms of, um, as a result, you know, property and also in terms of going um, forward. That would not be the case. Nadine, the, the, the picture that I've seen here on the program is Nadine herself. I have never met, and I am a good laugher, and, my, and Nadine would be a good second to me. And so when we meet, and at times we just chat about a few things, she would send me some jovial things, and we laugh, and um, vice versa. And so, March 4, I will never forget. University Hospital, and about 10, 15, I got a call. It changed my entire life. You know, I'm talking from memory. Sean told me some time ago I needed to say something here, but I, I found it difficult to write. To be honest with you, it's really, really tough. And I pray this morning that the Lord will give me the strength, just like a number of you here, because being here too, Nadine should not be here. Should not be here, friends. Um, she built employee type of situation, and more like an aunt, a family setting, and that was a great respect that they had. Today, Nadine has passed. Let me say that the company, in terms of its production, is strong. We have a little administrative 
glitch, which we are working on. But we want to say that we would like to know that the legacy of UL manufacturing will not end with the end of Nadine's life. But measures will be in place that we continue beyond today. U stand for Uriah and L stands for Levesta. I want to put a little on that today as we go forward that U will be for unique and L for long lasting. And that will be U, um, UL manufacturing. To the family members, to Sean, based on situation is not here, I want to encourage him to keep strong in the Lord. I call him and prayed with him. To their two sons, continue to keep strong in the Lord. To Mother Kelly, and I know she's grieving, and her desire was that Nadine should put her down and not the other way around. I want to encourage her. And to all the other siblings and family members, especially those who know the Lord, to continue to trust in him. I leave with you two passages today. In Psalm 125, verse 1 and 2, the psalmist David encourages who was, also, who was a fugitive, but he experienced and know God for himself. And he said, just as how the mountains surround Jerusalem, to the family members, I want to encourage you that so the love of God will embrace and surround you. In Isaiah 26 and verse 3, it reminds us that thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Trust in the Lord Almighty and he will give you the strength. For the team at UL Manufacturing, the employer, I just want to make special reference this morning to, to Camille. Camille. That the Lord will continue to cover her as she administer, as she carry out the, the daily function at UL Manufacturing. Keep strong in the Lord. And as someone said earlier, God is not sleeping. We don't understand how God works, but justice will be served. Thank you, Mr. Omro. I know it was extremely challenging for you because four years ago we were at Mr. Kelly's funeral and it was difficult at that time, but we thank you again. At this time, we move to our next tribute, which is from Ambassador Winston Pinnock of Jamaica Bahamas Imports. Ambassador. I thought I um, <clears throat> was doing quite well until having to listen to that um, passionate tribute from the heart. Um, to my respect to the leadership of this church and to the entire clergy and to all the persons gathered here. Um, 27 years ago, <clears throat> I met Uriah Kelly at his small manufacturing plant on, off St. John's Road in Spanish Town. Um, at that time, I started, my brother and I started a very, very small business, um, had a vision of bridging the cultures of the Bahamas and Jamaica through food. And um, we started out initially doing um, distributing products from Walker's Wood and um, later distributing Grace products. Of course, as a very small business at the time, we were overrun, if I could use that term, by the big boys um, in our country. Large distribution companies um, dominate the market. And so we found ourselves every time we got a brand um, losing it to some of the bigger players. And so we, the Lord gave us an idea to start this brand that nobody could um, steal um, called JBI, Jamaica Bahama Imports. And so UL Manufacturing served as the first manufacturing plant to do a JBI product. So we went, having met Mr. Kelly and shared the vision with him 
he was gracious enough to extend to us the opportunity to do products the starting with the hot sauce and then several other products browning jerk seasoning and other things and so at the time we both had very small businesses and mr kelly was of course a man of very stern demeanor if you knew him um he didn't joke around and he made it quite clear to me that um you know when the time came that he extended credit to us that if he had to if we didn't keep meet our obligations and he had to fly to the bahamas to deal with us he would but we grew and over those 27 years um we experienced we went through storms and difficult times together but we came to a place where in the latter years mr kelly shared his vision for his company as i shared mine and i took because he was a much older man than i i am could have been one of his sons and so i he he coached me on and encouraged me on the building and the growth of our own company um in, in later years many years later as the business relationship grew stronger nadine um came front and center in the in in the picture and um very very soft-spoken very gentle and kind person um, she does have some of the much of the business acumen of her dad but with a different demeanor very kind and someone i would say exemplifies the fruit of the spirit as listed in galatians 5. Um, it was a very difficult time four years ago when um, mr kelly just before he passed i had the privilege of going to meet with him um, a few weeks before his passing and he shared his heart and his vision about the future of his company and he was very much at peace and very optimistic about the future of his company under the leadership of his daughter and um, when when he passed and Nadine became front and center nothing changed in fact there was we had an opportunity where we experienced exponential growth and she shared her story of the growth of ul manufacturing of which i was pleased to know that mr kelly's vision was not only living on but it was actually growing um one of the things that i remember fondly i remember some time ago probably two years ago um, we my wife and i visited the factory um one evening after work after they were done with their due work and um saw nadine she was waiting on us to meet with us to chat as we usually do every year and met her playing football with her two boys and i thought that was uh interesting i've never seen her in that kind of environment but here she was out there kicking the ball with her boys and it demonstrated to me the love and affection she had for her, her boys. Um, on January 4th of this year, when I was, had the privilege of being appointed ambassador to FAO in Rome, I shared the news with her by phone and she was elated. I also reminded her of my many requests uh, over the last few years of her coming to visit the Bahamas to see the growth of our company after all they, are, they were the first company to brand a product for us and we had seen their growth firsthand and, and so i in january i said to her look i will pay for your ticket and you come and she then said to me look i have to get my passport renewed she wanted to have her sons to travel with her and little did we know that that would not materialize that her she would unfortunately be robbed of her life um she was a faithful and committed believer even before i she took over the plant i always admired the fact that she would i would see her and her mom heading out to church services even sometimes when mr kelly and i would meet late into the evening and i so i knew of her faith and that is very comforting today to know that she's absent from us but present with the lord uh, she also demonstrated i believe her love for her husband in the fact that um, I would see them together in different outside of UL manufacturing they they would always be together and I, I, I know of the strong bond that they shared um, the vicious and brutal circumstances of her demise 
left more questions than answers, especially for those of us who are people of faith. But I happen to know that the creator of mankind and the creator of the universe is a God who more than any of his characteristics is just and that God of justice does not sleep. And so I want to encourage her family, particularly her husband, Sean, her sons, Sean Jr. and Sean, her mom, Miss Kelly, the entire UL Manufacturing family and her extended family that the God of creation will grant you the strength, the peace, and always be mindful that unless a seed dies and is planted, a tree, especially a fruit tree, cannot bring forth fruit. And so may the God of peace comfort you and keep you, and may she rest in peace and rise in eternal glory. Thank you, Ambassador. And just to let you know that Nadine and I were making plans to come visit you. Everywhere we go, we go together. So she said, you know, my, my godfather has invited me to come. I said, well, girl, you know, I'm coming with you. So we would have been there to have some of that conch and to do all the wonderful things you do in Bahamas. Thank you so much. Before we call the next tribute, just going to invite you to stand on your feet. Praise God. You know, when Nadine died, I questioned God. I said, why did she have to die like a dead dog? But God said to me that I died on the cross like a criminal. So it doesn't matter how my servants die. It matters what happens to their soul. And I know her soul is resting in peace. If you miss me, don't come searching. And if you don't find me, please know that I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. If you don't hear from me, don't come knocking at my door, cause I'll be gone in the twinkling of an eye. Oh, if you miss me, don't come searching. And if you don't find me, please know that I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. If you don't hear from me, don't come knocking at my door. Cause I'll be gone in the twinkling of an eye. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go.
the Lord. Let me hear you worship him. Let me hear you shout hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise God. We still have some more to get through. You may be seated. Praise God. Praise God. At this time, I want to invite Mr. Otis Walton. Has he come as yet? Mr. Walton, we invite you now to give your tribute from Grace Kennedy. It was about five years ago or more when I was first introduced to Nadine. And what I can remember and will always remember is her beautiful smile. And as I look on, I'm looking at her right now and this smile it will never, never leave me. And I'm sure you guys understand. It was at Grace Kennedy's head office, a supplier meeting. And another thing I learned about Nadine at that meeting was that she was a great listener. She listened and listened well before making her decisions. And over the years, she has always been willing to listen to her customer and always willing to work with her customer to negotiate the best solutions that fairly benefited her customer and her company and her employees. And critical to her company was always her employees. So what else did I learn from this great lady? The year was 2021, in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. I remember calling her to get an update on outlook for bottles. And I remember she was, her response was, good morning, Mr. Walton. She was always respectful always Mr. Walton, even though I'm more than willing and happy for her to call me Otis. But her approach to customer service is to always be respectful to her customers. Then I asked her for an update and to my surprise, she responded saying, I am giving you a live update right now. I am on the port overseeing the clearance of the bottles. I responded saying, that was great news. And then I started saying to myself, wow, instead of being in a comfortable air conditioned office, she was deeply involved in her business to ensure customer satisfaction and ensure her employees have work. That was really a brilliant takeaway for me. How she was so involved in her business. What great commitment that we should all live by. Nadine 
a great entrepreneur, a customer-centric entrepreneur, an involved entrepreneur, a great listener, a fair negotiator. Her legacy will live on in this unique, long-lasting company called UL Manufacturing. May God bless her soul. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Walton. Nadine really loved her employees. Once one got sick, my phone would ring, sis, X and X is sick. What can we do? She fought for them. When Corona came, she just was trying to figure out how to make sure that everyone had funds to go home with despite the pandemic. What a woman. We're now going to invite Mr. Raymond Donaldson from the All American Broker Representative from the All American Continuous to give his tribute. Members of the clergy, family, and friends of Nadine. Um, there is a common thread I listened carefully to the song and tributes of the previous um, speakers. And there is a common thread. I hardly need to go through my tribute because there are several common denominators. But sometimes they say the good things bears repeating. Let me first extend my deepest condolences to the family, inclusive of the workers of UL Manufacturing who were also regarded as family. Um, I speak not only in my personal capacity as a long-standing supplier and advisor to UL Manufacturing, but I bring greetings from several of the industry um, they were really her competitors, but they asked me to pass on their own personal condolences. Andrew Gray, uh, Paul Bravo from Central Foods, Great Pepper Products. Folks that Mr. Walton would also be associated, and I was happy that he was able to be here to say a few words. Um, certainly one of the common threads is that all concern had their origins of UL with Uriah Kelly, whom I'll speak a little about. Um, later in the tribute. Um, this moment is really like a surreal deja vu when one realizes that week Wednesday, just Wednesday gone, was exactly four years since the passing of her dad, Uriah Kelly, at whose funeral I also laid tribute. To, to say Nadine died too soon would be an understatement. With a dedicated husband, rapidly growing boys, doing well at school, and even working at the plants during the holidays and in the evenings because UL Manufacturing was truly a family business. The business under her astute guidance had catapulted since Uriah's death, as her customers would readily endorse. Her untimely, tragic, and inhumane death finds a company at a time when orders were rapidly increasing to the point where I had to scour it to find additional supplies of bottles. However, Nadine did not panic. That smile on her face went everywhere. As she was well-schooled and resoundingly competent in managing all facets of the business, all these achievements were attributed to a very hardworking, humble and devoted Christian named Nadine Kelly Reed. To know her is to have an insight on how a company of such humble beginnings had attained its current heights. Along with the church, her mother and extended family, they were the core of her attention. Regardless of the differences and hardships and quarrels, she remained relentless in their support. I recall the recent and sudden death of Michelle, 
a long-standing, jovial, and hard worker whose funeral I was also present. Nadine ensured that her send-off was fully supported, including not only closing the plant all day, but providing transport for all the workers to attend. Another of the UL family gone too soon. Like her father before her, Nadine took her business commitment seriously. The company's main customer, GK Foods, will attest to that. GBI in the Bahamas will also attest to that. No walkover. She was very firm in her commitments. Generous, loving, but on point in protecting her company at the bargaining table, as Mr. Walton so ably acclaimed. Mindful of the future, she actively pursued additional income, additional equipment for increasing efficiencies while committed to maintaining a cadre of devoted community workers. Her workers were always close to her. They were mainly from the community. And even when I spoke to her about mechanizing, making the plant more efficient, she said, Mr. D, we really have to remember the workers and try and keep them. The respect and loyalty was mutual. The workers loved her. A casual walk through the plant would reveal the various in innovations implemented by Nadine with a firm evidence of her hold on current technology. My last conversation with Nadine the day before she died, saw her at the hairdresser with plans to take her mother to the doctor after. To Mrs. Kelly, my special condolences and the love, as the love and attention from your daughter was well known and should be emulated by all. Heaven has gained a sweet soul. May her soul rest in peace. Thank you, Mr. Donaldson. We will now have the tribute from the children's department um, from the Babaway Church of God in Christ Jesus Apostolic. This is a position she held. She held. Um, she was head of that department for many, many years, and many children have grown up under her assistance, her guidance. You know, on the day we. We went back to the factory the day she died and the grief you saw on persons' faces through the te your own tears was immense because of the difference she has made, not just in the Spanish town community, but in the area of Grantsman. So we invite Sister Shireen to coordinate that tribute. Good morning, everyone. Um, Auntie Nadine, oh, she was such a lovely person. Okay, I am a representative from the youth department and I know that Auntie Nadine has touched our lives in so many ways. I know personally that she has touched my life. When I first came to Kingston, I had the opportunity to work with her and there was never a dull moment with her. She was such a loving and kind person. If you know Auntie Nadine or if she ever if she had ever hugged you, you know that hug was such a special and warm hug. <laughs> and she always called me Queen Bee. So when, when I was working there, if you ever, nobody know my real name. They know me as Queen Bee. That was the kind of person she, she was. I know that her death was unfortunate and she did not deserve to go this way, but I know that her soul will rest in peace. Thank you. Let's praise the Lord. Praise Lord. I want to turn to your name and say, Nadine is gone to a better place. Turn to somebody on your right. And turn to the other side and just encourage them. Say, Nadine is gone to a better place. And this world is not our home. Don't get too comfortable here. We're going to have to go someday. And she's gone. Sad the way she went. 
but she's gone to a better place. Turn to the person behind you and say the same thing. Nadine is gone to a better place. We're now going to invite Mr. Calvin Ellis, her godfather, to bring the remembrance. Mr. Ellis. Bear with me. This is difficult. Two things happened to me in my life. My grandmother passed March 1st, 19. 86, I was at work, and I got the call. Nadine Bont passed March 4th, 2022. I was at work when I got the call. This baby, Born 1975, and the mother said to me, you are going to be the godfather. At the church, when we were going, getting our baptized, and pastor looked down and see the godfather, I was the godfather. I've been in our life since birth. I know everything that was said in the past from the other speakers. 1982, I came back after finishing my university studies. I came back to Jamaica, see a beautiful smile and a hug. And she jumped on me like I was there all the years to grow or seen her growing up. We talk a lot. And the fact that I'm in management in the finance business, I was able to talk to her about how to negotiate prices, how to discuss, and how to speak to the C levels partners, what they call CEOs and CFOs. We talk about her life in the church, but what's most important, she was a community baby. She was born in the community, raised in the community, give back in the community. I we didn't think that Nadine was able to was going to walk because she went from hand to hand to hand and when I left in 1976 she just stopped walking I, I, I today I but Jamaica is a country of sprinters not long distance from runners. But there's one race in life that represents track, in, there's one race in track and field that represents life. And it's called the 400 meter. Give you one time around. But for every turn you make, you have to make a decision as when to make your move. Because if you don't and go too fast, you will not end up first second or third but she ran a life to the end to those who decide that they're going to take her they did not 
win. We're not going to let them win. We are not going to let them win. Because justice is coming. Justice is coming. Let me say this to the mother. You have run the life. You went to the Olympic, got six gold medals. And you decide to run to the Diamond League and get yourself a diamond. A diamond that shines so bright that when she smiles, she lights up the sky. A diamond called Nadine. And Nadine, the name means hope, love, kind. Nadine, Nadia, French. Nadia, Russian, means hope and love. To her staff, I heard about everything about her staff. Everything. She loved her staff. She loved her employees. She loved her brother. I'm going to give you a little story real quick. In 2021, 2022, I came down and they have a little um, you know, discussion and uh, misunderstanding. And they want me to actually um, interject and ask my opinion because my opinion was valued. And in the talking, she sat there and she listened. She listened to everything that the sibling was saying. And she got up. After he was done, because she had to come to church, because she had a commitment here. And she got up, and she rubbed his head. And he melted like a butter. He melted like a butter. That person who was sitting there disagreeing, now becoming a child in her home. Just a rub of the head. That's how Nadine, my goddaughter, every time I see that smile, I cry. I cry for five days. I flew overnight, one night, just to get here today. I would have never missed it even not to swim the ocean to be here. But to the parents, to the mother, Understand that. Uh, let me give you a story about a man who lost a son. And four days later, his house was burned to the ground. And then what he did, he sent his four daughters and his wife on a vacation to England via ship. On the way to, to England, the ship sank. It sank. And he got a, a telegram saying that I survived. The only person who survived was his wife. He got on the ship the next day, go to England to, meet his, to be with his wife. On his way, the captain said, I heard the man who lost his four daughters is on the ship. You are now passing over where the ship sang. Church, sing with me. When peace like a
Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. I wanted to encourage your neighbor, say, it is well with her soul. Is it well with yours? Amen. Ask them the question, is it well with your soul? Because it is well with Nadine's soul today. Praise God. Praise God. You may be seated. Praise God. We're going to have our offering and collection now. It is in aid of the church's social outreach department. This was headed by Nadine. And this department was in charge of helping those less fortunate in the community of Grants Bend and surrounding areas. She was in charge of distributing food items and other items to over 80 families in the surrounding area. That is who Nadine was. And she had a wonderful team behind. So just to help to coordinate this a little better, we will have the ushers come to you so you can have a seat. Let's just bow our heads as we pray for the offering. Lord, we thank you for the funds which shall be placed in the offering. It shall be used for your service and your service only. We pray that you will restore to those that have given you said given shall be given to you, pressing up together, and running over shall men give into your bosom. So Lord, bless now in your precious name. Amen. We're going to sing the song, travel through this land as we collect the offering. As I travel through this pilgrim land, there is a friend who walks with me leads me safely through the sinking sand it is the christ of calvary hey, this would be my prayer dear lord each day to help me do the best i can for I need thy light to guide me day and night. Blessed Jesus, hold my hand. Blessed Jesus, hold my hand. Yes, I need thee every hour. Just some Sunday I will be a soldier brave and true and ever firmly take a stand as I onward go and daily meet the flow. Blessed Jesus, hold my hand. Come on, church. Jesus, hold my hand. Yes, I need the every eye through this land, this pilgrim land. By thy saving power, hear my plea, 
of the setting of the sun. Lead me safely to a land of rested by a crown of life. Have one. Oh, I have put my faith in thee, dear Lord, that I may reach the golden strand. There's no other friend on whom I can depend. Blessed Jesus, hold my hand. Hold my hand Yes, I need thee every hour Through this land, this pilgrim land By thy saving power Hail my plea, my people be Oh, dear Lord Jesus, hold my hand. One more time, just blessed Jesus, hold my hand. to be praised hallelujah 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 praise God Lord, hold our hand today, hallelujah, as we tarry with our sister, hallelujah. Holy Ghost, hold our hands today. Hold my hand, Lord. We can't do this without you, hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 You are worthy, Lord. And we exalt you in this house. We give you glory, Jesus. Because I know she's gone to a better place. Hallelujah. We got to let her go to go to a better place hallelujah. hallelujah praise god 
we invite Assistant Pastor Mary, Dr. Campbell, Dr. Mary Campbell to come and to do our eulogy. You may be seated. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You might not believe it, but who are we to question God? Hallelujah. 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 I just want to greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. It is an honor for me to stand to read the eulogy for a young lady who I've known since she was just a child running up and down in church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I ask that you bear with me as I go through. Hallelujah. Nadine Reed Nee Kelly, wife, daughter, mother, aunt, and an altruistic leader, dedicated her life to the commission of the gospel and the improvement of life for her family. She was a well respected individual who is spoken about with admiration and appreciation for the service she has given. And I'm sure you got that from all these previous speakers. Nadine was born on May 19, 1975. 10th of May? Okay, I got it wrong. Well, this is what I got. Was born on the 10th of May, right, 1975, to Uriah and Joycelyn Kelly. She was the only girl and the last of seven children born to her parents. In her formative years, she attended St. George's Primary School and St. Catherine High School and later Duff's Business College. Her love for growth and development brought her to the Stony Hill Preparatory School where she served as a pre-trained teacher. Later, she transitioned into working at UL Manufacturing Company Limited, the company which was started by her father over 30 years ago. She succeeded her father as managing director for the company in 2018 when her father died. The company flourished under her leadership as she was a shrewd entrepreneur. In 1995, she met and loved the love of her life at the Grace Kennedy Export Warehouse. It took her all of the 18, eight, sorry, it took her all of eight years before Nadine was able to say yes to Sean, who patiently prayed and waited. On June 21, 2003, Nadine said, I do to Sean Reed, and I can personally say 
it was a match made in heaven. Praise the Lord. The union produced two boys, Sean Reed Jr., affectionately known as Prince, and Nasheen, affectionately known as Nana. Nadine loved her two boys immensely and would spend hours listening and talking with them. Later, you would see them chasing her around the house and laughing. But not even Sean could know what that was all about. This is what we can call a Hallelujah. A close-knit family. Nadine loved to help people. She supported the less fortunate students in the community that she lived at John's Road. She liked to work behind the scene and was truly humble. She was a love of sports, especially netball, and track and field, although none of those she mastered. She was a long-standing member of Friendship Net Netball Club. Nadine would never miss annual boys and girls champs. She would always be in the stand sharing Despite her past school was not in the winning in group, she was enjoying herself. Nadine loved the Lord and was among the first 10 members that started the Bible Way Church of God in Christ Jesus, which is this church. She was among she was an outstanding member and was among the first persons who helped to build Grand Spen and later all the other churches around. Can you put your hands together for her? <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 She was baptized in 1989 among the first group of young people who had elected to serve the Lord. And quite a number of them are in the church. And I must say, quite a number of them have got great profession, doctors, lawyers, and all those. And I'll say more about those young people. They showed such commitment to the work of the Lord. She traveled from Spanish town to Grand Spen, to help the other young people clean the then red oak floor of the church. Uh, it wasn't any nice floor like this. And sometimes when they were finished, they were all in a red oak, but they were walking home and going home, feeling very happy, singing on the road. Hallelujah. God bless those young people. In, uh, well, Nolly, Nadine has already been blessed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. She showed commitment. Sorry. She, with her mother, would be at church on Sunday morning, go home, and come back after church for night service. Nadine would be upset if she was prevented in any way not to make these trips. She complained that she could not sing and so would not join the choir despite she was asked to. But she was present at every choir practice to give her own critique for the betterment of their rendition. Nadine tried to be present at every service at church, 
no matter how late she got there, even it was even if it was to catch the benediction. She was known to have a heavy foot and drove fear in her poor husband's heart when the speedometer was pushing to the limit as she tried to make up for her lateness. Her care for others Give her the position of the director of the social outreach services, SOS, for which we collected the offering. We delivered, we delivered 30 care packages to families in the Grand Spen area and surrounding communities. She was the leader and she makes sure that it happened every month. She also held the position of president of, children, of the children's department. Nadine was always fun. She had a contagious laugh. She had the most beautiful smile which would grow especially, glow especially when she see a plate of ackee and saltfish. Nadine shared her birth date with her two adopted nieces, Sienna and Sieke. They will sadly miss the happy times they shared when all three got together to celebrate their birthday. Her husband describes sorry, her husband describes her as one of the greatest human beings ever. And she was a true friend. They supported each other throughout their 18 plus years of marriage. She made sure that the boys were constantly seeking the Lord. Nadine, sadly, Departed this world on March 4, 2022, due to tragic circumstances, she will be missed by family and a host of friends. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. On the Friday, when, when Nadine died, I was at home and I was crying my head off. I could not believe it. I didn't know she had died. I thought she was in the hospital and in a coma. And I was there crying endlessly. And the Lord said to me, and shake me up. And he said, I will take care of her. And when I heard it, I said, Lord, I'm sorry to be crying, but I, do, I know you will take care of her. And so we as Christians and those of us who know that there is a better place that we try not to be too mournful. It's hard not to be mournful. But, but, and when I was Dusting around, I found this, these words. And when I read it, I said, wow, these must be the words that Nadine want me to say to the people today. And I'm going to be, it was written by an unknown writer. So I'm going to say it and I'm going to tell, say to you, these are Nadine's words that I think she would want me to say. Don't grin for me now. I am free. I am free. I'm following the path God laid for me. I took his hand when I heard him call. I turned my back and left it all. 
I could not stay another day to laugh, to love, to work, or play. Task left undone must stay that way. I found that peace at the close of day. If my parting has left a void, then fill it with remembered joy, friendship shared, a laugh, or a kiss. Yes, these things I will miss. Be not burdened with times of sorrow. I wish you the sunshine of tomorrow. My life been full, I favored much. Perhaps my time Perhaps my time seemed all too brief. Don't lengthen it now with undue grief. Lift up your heart and share with me. God wanted me now, and he set me free. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 There is no need to worry. Nadine is in a better place. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We now have a video that is going to be presented um, while they prepare to do so. I want you to just look in your programs and just look at that smile. The only picture there that she didn't smile in was the first one. Figure she was saying, hurry up and take this picture, man. But all other pictures have that intoxicating smile. So I will now hand over to our videographers who will do a video. I turn your attention to the TV screens that are closest to you so you can see that. Hey, everybody. Uh, thanks for the love and the support that you have given to us as a family. Rough times, tough times, you know, losing a loved one isn't easy. Not only did I lose a loved one, I lose my best friend. You know, I lose somebody that I spent almost all of my life with. I lose one of the greatest human beings ever. Thanks for the support you have given to myself and my kids, my sons. You know, I just want to tell you guys thanks and I love you guys. It's unfortunate that we are not there. But as you all know, you know what is happening. But I just say thanks. Hey everybody. Uh, Thanks for the love and the support that you have. My brother, my father and I could not attend the funeral today because of circumstances beyond our control. But we'd like to say thank you for all the support that has been given and thank you for coming out today. Thank you for those videos I'm s of her wonderful husband and her two very handsome boys. You know, Prince's head is very big already. So, you know, when you tell him he's handsome, worse if you tell him he's more handsome than Nashawn. But I always tease him to say that Nashawn is gonna grow taller than you. And he doesn't, he says, Auntie, that's not true. I said, I told your mom, I told everybody Nashawn is gonna grow taller than you. Our choir is gonna sing for you. And then our pastor is going to preach. It's a usual thing as soon as the pastor is to preach. I notice that a lot of persons empty the church. 
But for Nadine's sake, he's not going to preach long. Have a seat. You didn't come here by chance. It means that something will be said that should connect with you. So I'm asking you respectfully, when the time comes for the message, not for a mass exodus, we now invite our choir to sing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me, let me hear the church shout a hallelujah. Come on, let the devil know that we're still and live and well in this place. Shout a hallelujah. Let me hear shout a hallelujah. God is still in control. You know, I have the chance to work with missionary Nadine Kelly Reed. She was, a vice, she was a president and I was a vice president and me and Crystal, oh God Almighty, when she tell us, say, go and go look after the children, them, next uh, 21 hour. You can't tell the length of time she take for each way, but when she get here, her job is well done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My partner in uh, play when we come together to do our family play she's the star hallelujah so let me hear your shout a hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. lord you're worthy hallelujah 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 thank you jesus hallelujah glory to god
it is gold whether you drive the most expensive car whether you lived way uptown or down in the gully one day one day one day Jesus will call your name he'll call my name are we ready let us stand on our feet Lord as our speaker comes, we pray you'll cover him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Release your Holy Spirit upon him, Jesus. It is my pleasure to introduce to you my brother, Dr. Leroy Vincent Campbell, pastor of the Babylon Church of God. Somebody praise God in the house. Somebody worship him in the house. You know, whenever you're in somebody's house, there's always the need to show respect for the person's house you're in. Amen. And sometimes our feelings get in the way of our respect. But no matter how we feel, we're in God's house today. And so I'm going to ask everyone just to shout hallelujah one time in the house of God. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, Lord. I will praise you, Lord. With every breath that I take. I will praise you, Lord. This promise I made. Until eternity ends and starts all over again, I will praise you. Somebody knows that song, let's sing it. Oh, I will praise you with every breath that I take. I will praise you. No matter how I feel, no matter how I feel, and so over again, even I will praise you, Lord. They used to sing a song. I love the song. I will 
say thanks. Thanks. Thank you, Lord. I'll give you thanks for all you have done. Oh, I am so blessed. My soul is at rest. Oh, Lord, I'll give you thanks. And then we'll say, we'll say, just think about his love. Just think about his goodness. Just for one minute. Just think about his grace that has brought us through. It must have been. It must have been for as high as the heavens above. So great is the man of our fathers. Bless the name of the Lord. I just ask you to remain standing for just one moment. I won't be long. The scripture from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 13 reads, But I would not have you ignorant, brethren, concerning they which are asleep, that you sorrow not even as others which have no hope. Somebody has hope today. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. Even so, them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and with the voice of the archangel. And with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. I'll read one verse from Matthew chapter 5, verse 4, that says, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Can you turn to somebody just for emphasis, just so it sticks, and just say to them, Do you need any comfort? Oh God. Uh, maybe you can you turn to the person on the other side and just ask them, do you need any comfort? Oh God. Bless the name of the Lord. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. We ask you, Lord, just to speak fluently and clearly. That somebody would be blessed. Somebody would be set free in the name of Jesus. Amen. You may be seated in the house of God. I know I have not much time. But I must be honest that sometimes the scriptures challenge me. Because despite the fact that I am, I am a believer and I have been a believer for most of my life. Every now and then circumstances of life present themselves. That cause me to ask God some questions. And every now and then I review the scriptures and I come across something that does not seem to match up with what I am seeing in my everyday life. I wonder if I'm, am I the only one? You see, I'm looking at the preachers because sometimes we have to preach even when we don't feel like preaching. Oh my goodness. But Matthew chapter 5 is saying, blessed are they that mourn. And I am challenged to understand how mourning could be blessed. 
because the word blessed there means to be happy, encouraged, and to find some benefit from an experience. And I've got to ask God, how is there any blessing in how I'm feeling? Can I talk to somebody? You see, how can I feel blessed when I am dealing with the reality of death and sorrow? And there are four realities of death. The first reality is the fact of death. And the fact of death is simply us coming to grips with the fact that this person is gone. Coming to grips with the fact that I will never see the beautiful smile of my sister anymore. That I will never feel the warmth of her embrace ever again. In this world. With the fact that when I call her number, she will not be there to answer. Oh, where is the blessing in that? The second reality of death has to deal with the circumstances of death. And circumstances just means how somebody dies. Nobody deserves to die this way. Come on now. Especially after doing good. Can I talk to somebody? The harsh reality is that bad things happen to good people. And sometimes I have a problem with God. Is it okay for me to be real? With God when I see bad things oh, happening to good people. And the circumstances, it was not death by old age. I could have accepted that. It was not death by sickness because sometimes we console ourselves by saying there is no more pain anymore. But when someone is cut down in the prime of life, where do I find consolation? I've got to tell it. We've got to deal with the third reality. And the third reality is the fate of death. The fate of the dead. What happens when we die? And the truth is there is no greater mystery than that. If you don't believe me, look at the number of religions in the world. Everybody is trying to find the answer to that question. The fate of the dead. Because if there is nothing more after this, then this is truly sorrow. What would it therefore profit us to be good in this world? If in this world alone we had hope, then we are men most. Oh, oh Lord Jesus. I've got to deal with it. I'm going, I, I had to ask God some questions. Because if I have to deal with the realities, then Lord, you're going to have to show me how this is blessed. Because we struggle, God, to deal with that and then do this. We struggle, God, to get up and to accept the fact that sometimes you allow things to happen 
that don't look like they are in line with the actions of a loving God. It brings me to the fourth reality of death, which is the impact of the death. Because when somebody goes, we don't just lose a body. Because we lose somebody who is somebody to somebody. So somebody's mother is gone. Somebody's wife is gone. Somebody's sister, whether biological or spiritual, is gone. Somebody's boss is gone. There is an impact. There are 80 to 100 families on any given month that will be impacted by what has taken place. Because those who are in the company are impacted. Those who are in Grand Spend who receive help from our social outreach services are impacted. Grace is impacted. Who else is here? I mean, if I call names, everybody is impacted. And so we've got to be bold enough to ask God what is going on. But then somewhere in it, God has to humble me. There comes the humbling experience of knowing that there are things that I just do not understand. This was the reality of the Thessalonian church when Paul penned the scripture that we read. Because they were struggling as we are struggling. And somehow God is faithful to give an answer when we have questions. And so Paul, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, begins to pen these words. He says, brethren, I would not have you. I wonder if somebody was paying attention. To be ignorant. And the word ignorant means you just don't know. Oh God. You see, sometimes we're crying because we just don't. Oh God. Sometimes we are stressed out about the circumstances of life because we just don't know. I, I, I was talking to somebody the other day and and, and they were struggling with the loss of their baby. And it occurred to me that sometimes the harshest things in my life turned out to the best thing that ever happened to me. Because I remember the time when I couldn't walk for months because of a problem I did not know until one day I was running training in track because I was a good athlete and my hip went. The doctors couldn't fix it because of what the problem was. I was born with it. I didn't know. And for months I couldn't walk. But I can tell you today that I'm a doctor, a minister because of my problems. Oh, Jesus. Can I talk to some people in the house of God that have been through some stuff that when you look back over your life, you come to the one conclusion that it was good for me that I was afflicted. Am I the only one? Can I get a few people who can testify that sometimes your mess led to your success? Oh Lord Jesus, I feel something moving in the house of God. Oh Lord Jesus. He said, I would not have you ignorant concerning they that are asleep. So I had to rephrase my thinking because I thought my sister was dead, but I did not know that she was asleep. You see, the difference between death and sleep is that when you are dead, there is no more getting up. But when you are asleep, at 
the time appointed in the twinkling of an eye oh Lord Jesus something is going to call you back from the realm of sleep and that must be God so he says you must understand that they which are asleep are just asleep you need not over them you need not cry over them because they are sleeping I can tell you because I'm a surgeon and anytime I'm going to do major surgery and I need the patient to be totally relaxed I call my anesthetist and say I'm going to operate how do we get this done and she says we're going to put them to sleep can i talk to somebody anytime god gets ready to do some big things he has to put because when you can I talk to the church? Because the one who is asleep, you feel no pain. Oh Lord God, the one who was asleep, you don't hear them talking about you anymore. When you are asleep, you don't need to worry about the bills anymore. Can I talk to somebody? The mortgage is due. You don't bother me. If I'm asleep, a sleeping man has no concerns. But God said, don't. Oh, Lord Jesus, let the word preach. For if this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that they which are alive and remain shall not prevent them which no matter how bad you are and no matter how wicked you might be you, oh God you can't touch where God has put her Lord God yes. let me tell you something you see the fact is that no matter how far we run it is appointed unto man wants to die but he said after that there is a judgment the judgment is also called the second death there is a second death and I started to wonder to myself about the second death and I began to search the scriptures. I realized that the second death is worse than the first death. Oh God, can I talk to somebody? Because there got to be a reckoning where every man shall give an account for his works. What Ever they shall be and if it does not stand up to judgment there will be a second death you see some of us don't want God now but there will come a time when you want God and there will be no opportunity oh God and the only place in heaven or on earth in the universe that God is not present is in hell so he prepared a place not for man but for the devil and his angels but some people say I don't want God so he said if you don't want to stay with me there is only one place that I can put you and it is with the devil in hell and it shall be an everlasting fire there shall be no repentance in the grave so you come to the conclusion then that the second death is worse than the first death so he said I want you to understand what happens to them that are in Christ when there is a first death he said for they shall what 
Am I the only one here? We shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. So it occurred to me that even though I thought I would not be able to see her again, there is something wrong with my logic. My logic is flawed because there is a wake up call when the alarm bells shall ring throughout eternity and the dead in Christ shall rise. Ah, they shall be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye can I talk to somebody oh Lord Jesus I can put this away now because then I could go back to Matthew chapter 5 verse 4 when it says blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted you see I'm seeing some folks I have not seen in 20 years and they are here because we are mourning they have come together from all over the world because we are mourning I see some people I had to ask them to pull down their mask because I did not recognize them and the reason was for so long but because we are mourning somebody put their hand around me and said we're going to make it together I began to examine it and I realized that this is not the first time somebody has died it won't be the last but all of us survive because somewhere on the inside God comforts us Oh Lord Jesus, have you ever been comforted? Have you ever felt like you were at the end of the rope? Have you ever felt like there was no hope? But he said, don't sorrow as if you have no hope. But glorify God because it's not over. It's just the beginning. Better is yet to come. We're going to step out in power and anointing because there is a above all name and at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus, 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 Jesus is the Lord, for he is my comfort, he is my bridge over troubled water, he is my way maker, he is my lily of the valley, he is my bright and morning star, he is the fearest of ten somebody come get the mic they don't want me to stop preaching somebody get up on your feet and worship God in the house and give him the glory for no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper and ah! somebody come difficult for my brother to do praise God she was his other sister praise God but he knew she would have wanted him to do it hallelujah she's only sleeping hallelujah And nobody can touch her again. Nobody can touch her again. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. We're just going to sing this song. Then we're going to invite Pastor Carlton Allen to pray for the family. And Pastor Barrington Durant, they'll just follow each other to close off in prayer. I'm going to invite Pastor Durant as well to sing our recessional hymn. But before I hand the mic over to these two worthy gentlemen, we're just going to sing one worship song in honor of our sister. Praise God. Just want you to focus on God right now and give him thanks. You are not a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man. You are not a God in need of anything we can give by your plan that's just the way it is oh, oh, oh. you are not a god
God alone. You are God alone. He is God all by himself. There is none like him. There is none compared to him. He is the matchless one. Oh, glory be to God. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus in the house. Oh, he is here. He is here. Good morning, people of God. I want to greet the Holy Spirit this morning, which is the head of our lives. I want to greet Dr. Uh, Pastor Dr. Mary Campbell. And I want to greet Pastor Dr. Leroy Campbell. And I want to also greet Pastor Durant. Oh, whenever I come into a house, I have to respect leadership. And I respect the leadership here. So clap your hands for the leadership. Clap your hands for the leadership here this morning. Oh, glory be to God. All the ministers in their respective position. And you wonderful saints of God. I greet you in no other name than the matchless name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Our Lord and Savior and soon coming King. Oh, glory be to God. I hear everyone speak. She's in a better place. God knows best. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Spirit of the living God. As we come before you this morning. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. We lift you and I this morning and we tell you thanks. We tell you thanks because it haven't been for you on our side this morning. Where would we be? The fact that we are in the land of the living this morning. Oh, glory be to God. We give you thanks. We are not among the dead this morning. So this morning, I just want to lift you on high and glorify your name. As we put the family before you this morning. Oh, God Almighty. I said, bind them together like cords that cannot be broken. Oh, God Almighty, this tragedy that has happened. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that this will bring them even closer together. Have your way in their lives, oh God Almighty. The Bible says, whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatever we lose on earth is loose in heaven. Ah, this morning I bind the spirit of untimely death over this family, oh God Almighty. No more untimely death will come in this family, oh God Almighty. Father, I say, cover them upon under your blood. Hide them from any onslaught of the enemy. Anything that is unlike you in the atmosphere that is trying to stop this family, I run thy powerless in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Have your way in them. Have your way with them. Have your way through them. Oh God, this morning I say, lead them, oh God. They will follow. Lead them, oh Lord. They will go. You have called them. They will answer. Lead them, oh Lord, I pray. Father, just continue to bless them. Even the business, oh God Almighty. Keep your hands over it. Keep your hands over the business. That it will go forth. Keep your hands over the family that who, whoever is running this business for this family. We say keep your hands over it. Father, be their rear guard. Be their front guard. Be their side guard. Be their back axe. Father, God, I know you are fighting on their behalf right now. This tragedy, oh God Almighty. I pray this morning that this family will know and understand that you are God. And God alone all by yourself. So we place everything in your hands this morning. In your keep and in your care. For you to have your way. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. And amen. And amen. God bless you all. Shall we praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, we are still in the house, still magnifying the name of Jesus. Praise God. And after the magnitude of the message this afternoon, praise God. I, God Almighty, praise God. Uh, praise God, I just can't even keep quiet, you know. But what we felt throughout the service, we would ask the undertaker, is Sister Nadine still sleeping as she awake? Praise God. Come on, man. We don't feel the anointing of the house. Hallelujah. We say to the undertaker, undertaker, let me see certainty that is the nutting is still asleep. You don't understand. You know, 
by chance is she still asleep Holy Ghost Hallelujah Martha said yes Lord my brother sleep but Jesus said if he sleep he sleep well well I am the resurrection the true and alive though he may dead yet shall he live again he said yes in the resurrection to come Jesus said I am Holy Ghost the resurrection the true and alive he said Lazarus Praise God and Jesus said, Lazarus. Come forth, though you were dead. My God. And somebody said, Master, we see the movements. He said, Loose him and let him go. He's my father's child. And the take and I still asleep. Let me quit, you know. We don't know if she asleep. We give you permission to open the casket at this time. In the name of Jesus. Ah, God Almighty. It's got to praise God. Hallelujah. For we are in the age. Maybe if you don't to go with Mary. Yeah, God Almighty, you know, quick, quick, be Mary. But I want to hear a word from God. What's this now? Try to praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray our closing prayer. Rock of ages, clay for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let thy water and thy blood from the wounded side the flow. Mighty God, as we come to the end of this session, mighty God, we pray for your protection. Pray for your guidance. We pray for your leading. We pray, oh God, for your continually anointing God upon our lives at this time. On this journey from here, Lord God, to a resting place, we pray for journey mercy. We pray for your covering. We come against every negative force. We bind every principality and power. Pull down every stronghold of the enemy. We cripple them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we pray, my God, for our return at this time. Bless us as we go. Bless us as we return. Cover this house. Cover your children. Cover the family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, we're going to ask us that we try to be in going out in order. This is the house of the Lord and we are coming after such good service. We don't want to spoil it. Well, the choir is going to lead off a song and you can go out where the pallbearers can just come and take their place. Okay, just a special announcement, please. Once, please listen carefully before you go. Once the, um, the um, hearse leaves the compound, they'll be making a left turn on Grand Spin Road. Oh, you're going through the gully now. Okay, so they've changed their route. They'll be making a right turn. We're going through the gully. Then we're making a left turn on Constant Spring Road. When we get to the stoplight at Shortwood and Constant Spring Road intersection, then you will make a right turn. That's along um, the road that Queens is on, Central Avenue. Right there, there'll be a pause for, their, for all others to catch up with the hearse. And then everybody will travel together. They'll make a left turn on West Avenue and go all the way down to the stoplight at Don Robin, where they'll, you'll hit Boulevard. From Boulevard, you'll travel along the Boulevard to Mandela and head to um, John's Road. 
Okay, St. John's Road. All right? So let me repeat that. Make a right, then a left. At the stoplight, you make another right. You'll wait on Central Avenue for everybody to catch up and then follow the pastor and the hearse on the way to St. John's Road. Thank you so much for attending the wonderful Thanksgiving service of Nadine Kelly Reed. If you miss me, don't come searching. Oh, if you don't find me, you know that I'm Please clear the ways bye, 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 of the ta -ta. And if you don't hear from me, don't come knocking at my door. I'll be gone in the twinkling of an eye. Oh, if you miss me, don't come searching. If you don't hear from me, don't come knocking at my door. I'll be gone in the twinkling of the night. Oh, if you miss me, don't come searching. And if you don't find me, you know that I'm gone. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. And if you don't hear from me, don't come knocking at my door. I'll be gone in the twinkling of an eye. This train I'm riding, they said it's leaving to a place where we'll never die. And the pilot, his name is Jesus. To a Way up in the sky So don't be grieving Because she's leaving And don't cry Because she's saying goodbye Oh, there be no weeping Where she's going She's going to a mansion Way up in the sky Oh, so don't be grieving Because she's leaving And don't cry Because she's saying goodbye No, there be no weeping Oh, where she's going She's going to a mansion Way up in the sky This journey she's taking Will end her sorrow in her affliction. I say no more will she cry, for she be rejoicing, rejoicing with her Jesus in that mansion way up in the sky. Oh, I said, don't be grieving because she's leaving. Oh, oh, don't you cry. I should say it goodbye Oh, there be no weeping Oh, where well, she's going She's going to a mansion Way up in the sky Oh, 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 I said don't be grieving Oh, because she's leaving No, oh, don't you cry Because she's saying goodbye There will be no weeping She's going, she's going to that mansion way up in the sky. So get ready, everybody get ready. Everybody get ready. So get ready, everybody get ready. So get ready, everybody get ready. Oh, don't you grieve because she's giving. Don't you cry. Because she's saying goodbye Oh, there be no weeping Oh, where she's going She's going to a mansion Way up in the sky Oh, I said Get ready, everybody, get ready 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 
get ready, everybody get ready. Get ready, everybody get ready. Don't you grieve, because she's leaving. Oh, oh, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, because she's saying goodbye. Oh, there be no weeping. Where nothing is going. Oh, she going to a mansion way up in the sky. She going to a mansion way up in the. Oh yes, oh yes. She going to that mansion way up in the sky. She going to a mansion way up in the sky. Feel well. Bye bye. Bye bye.